it's Ashley and Shelly. And right now, I'm still wearing my stethoscope because we are still talking about the human body. So, if you're onto this video, that means you just learned about your stomach and esophagus with me and Shelly. We read this book in another video. So if you haven't seen that yet, go back and watch that first. But if you have seen that video, then let's begin our activity. So today we are going to be making some patients. So the first thing you need, because this is how it will look in the end, you're gonna need some paper. And so with your paper, you're gonna want to draw a mouth. When you're drawing your mouth, make sure the inside has a circle because you're gonna cut that out to add your esophagus. So I've drawn my mouth and I think I wanna color it in a little bit. I've got some pink and some red and I'm gonna color these lips really quickly first. So I've colored in my lips. Now what I'm gonna do is cut them out. So I've got my lips cut out and now it's time to cut out this hole in the middle. And this is where we're gonna line up a paper towel roll, or if you don't have one, you could just get another piece of paper and you could just roll it up so that it turns into a tube. So you could either use a paper towel roll or just a rolled up piece of paper for the next part. So I'm gonna cut my hole in the middle of my mouth so I could attach my esophagus. So my mouth is cut out it's colored in and I have a hole in the middle of it. So the next thing that I'm going to do is connect my mouth to my esophagus. Can you guys say esophagus? Great job. So I'm gonna find some tape and tape this onto here. Now I've got a mouth and an esophagus. So the next thing we're gonna do is add a stomach at the end of your esophagus. And we're gonna do that with just a Ziploc bag. And so you could either tape it to the bottom or you could use a rubber band or hair tie to hold it in place. I'm gonna use a rubber band. So I've got my mouth, my esophagus, and my stomach. And if you're doing this with an adult, you could label the parts so you can kind of get used to those words as you're doing this activity. So I'm gonna label the paper towel roll esophagus, and I'm gonna label this bag stomach. So there's my esophagus. And down here it says stomach. I've got my mouth, my esophagus, and my stomach. And these are the organs that are in your real body. This is part of your digestive system, which if you remember, is the body system in charge of taking your food and taking all the nutrients and the energy it can get from it and giving it to your body. And then whatever it doesn't use comes out in the potty as poop. So now that you have your patient, it's time to do our activity. And so I've got these little tiny puff balls. And these are going to be pieces of food. So my patient needs to be fed. So I'm gonna take my little pieces of food and drop them in the mouth. And they're gonna go down the esophagus and land in the stomach. Look, I'll do some more. Here's a blue one coming through. Tell me if you see it. There it is. My patient is eating their food. I added another and so you could feed your patient as much as you want but I have to warn you your patients have stomach flu which means they might throw up so to make your patient throw up what you're gonna do is tip it the other way and watch what's gonna happen did you guys see all of those puff balls come out of my patient's mouth their patient just threw up. And that is kind of what happens when you throw up. Your food that's supposed to go down your esophagus and land in your stomach, for some reason, starts to go the other way. So you could keep feeding your patient as much as you'd like. 
and watch the food travel down the esophagus into the stomach, just like that. And if you don't have these tiny balls at your house, I've used Cheerios before. If you have like a stale box of cereal, you could use Cheerios to feed your patient or beads or really anything small enough to fit down this paper towel roll. That is how you make this week's patient. These are two different ones. This one I made during the school year last year. And if you want to, you could decorate your esophagus, you could make your mouth look different than mine. But if you do this activity at home, make sure to send me some pictures or some videos because I would love to see your patients. And so that is our activity for today. We are making our esophagus and our stomach. I'll see you next time for another body part. Be good to your patients and enjoy being doctors. Bye everyone.